Welcome back to our channel guys. Today we have the latest headline that are shaping the security landscape of the India. So let's begin. In a landmark defense deal, the US is committed to providing consultancy to India for developing advanced unmanned aerial vehicles as a part of $3.1 billion contract for 31 MQ-9B Predator drones. This agreement marks a significant step in bolstering India's defense and indigenous UAV capabilities. The deal under negotiation for several years will see the Indian Navy receive 15 drones while the Army and Air Force will each get 8 drones. These drones with their long endurance and advanced surveillance capabilities are expected to be deployed at strategic locations including INS Rajaji near Chennai and Porbandar in Gujarat. On to the next news. The Indian Navy's INS Tabar participated in Russia's Navy Day Parade in St. Petersburg, a grand event featuring over 200 naval vessels from Russia, China, Algeria and India. The parade led by President Vladimir Putin showcased Russia's naval prowess and its commitment to modernizing its fleet with high-tech assets. Among the highlights were the Poltava, a reconstructed 18th-century sailing ship, and the India's INS Tabar, a Talwar-class stealth frigate, underscored the growing naval cooperation between India and Russia, particularly significant given the absence of the Black Sea fleet due to ongoing operations in Ukraine. Next. In a major achievement, the Defense Research and Development Organization successfully conducted a Phase II ballistic missile defense test on July 24, 2024. This test is a critical milestone demonstrating India's capability to intercept and neutralize incoming ballistic threats. The ballistic missile defense system includes both endo-atmospheric and exo-atmospheric interceptors designed to engage threats within and beyond the Earth's atmosphere. This dual capability ensures a robust defense against a wide range of missile sets, bolstering India's strategic and security posture. Moving on to the next news, the Ministry of Defense is advancing its efforts to equip the Indian Army with new light tank Zoravar, designed for high-altitude operations. This initiative addresses the need for agile and capable armor in challenging terrains, particularly along India's northern borders. Named after the legendary General Zorawa Singh, this tank is equipped with advanced laser-guided missiles and state-of-the-art navigation systems. Larson and Tobro Limited leads the development, supported by numerous MSMEs working on various subsystems. The project with a sanctioned cost of 234.5 crores aims to induct these tanks into service by 2027 significantly enhancing India's high-altitude warfare capabilities. On to the next news. Among the global race for advanced fighter jets, Russia is actively promoting its Sukhoi 75 Checkmate fighter jet to India as a replacement for the aging MiG-29 fleet. The Sukhoi 75 unveiled in 2021 is Russia's answer to the American F-35, featuring stealth technology and advanced combat capabilities. Despite its promising specifications, the Sukhoi 75 has faced development delays with no prototype produced yet. India, focusing on its indigenous fighter programs like AMC and Tejas MK2, remains cautious, recalling past challenges with the Sukhoi 57 project. While Russia continues to push for collaborations, India's strategic priorities may steer its towards self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Lastly, in a positive development, the Maldives has resumed using India's donated helicopters and a Dornier aircraft for medical evacuations. This comes after an agreement was reached to replace Indian military personnel with civilian crews, ensuring the continuation of critical medical services. President Mohammad Bizu, who had advocated for the India Out campaign, acknowledged India's role in resuming these services. The Indian civilian crews provided by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited now operate from various bases, ensuring timely medical assistance. This cooperation highlights the enduring defense and humanitarian ties between India and the Maldives, reinforcing India's role in regional stability and support. That's all for today's defense updates. Stay tuned for more news on India's defense sector and its strides towards self-reliance and strategic strength.
डोंट फॉरगेट टू शेयर लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर इन जय हिंद